Alright, this one's going to be on a popular virus scanner called ClamAV. And there's a lot of people that come to Linux and, and you know, they're looking for a virus scanner because they're probably like uh, polluted by the Windows thinking that you need one. Uh, you don't really need one on Linux. Well, that's the short answer, okay? You don't need one. And most of the virus scanner that you have on Linux, it doesn't scan Linux viruses, it scans Windows viruses. So don't be confused there, right? So we're scanning Windows viruses with this program right and the reason why you want to do that is not because it's gonna affect your you know your Linux um, system It's because you probably gonna give it to your friends or you know bring it to school put it in your flash drive or something like that and you don't want to carry uh, you know a virus with you all right anyways uh, when you use clam AV there is a GUI version I personally don't like the GUI version but um, I'll show you here aptitude search and we'll search for clam and if you want the GUI version which I don't like that much but it does work okay so clam TK this is the graphic user interface one here uh, but if you want to use the command line version which is what we're gonna use just call clam AV and, and this is the command line version all right anyways um, the way to use this so we have this folder here We'll list out the content they have, exe, some other stuff, and then a data a folder here. So if you want to scan it, we'll go clam scan and dash r for recursive. So we'll go into the subdirectories and all that. Uh, we'll wait for it. So it's scanning, uh, you know, each one of the files in there. And I give you a summary. So this one is like 19 file scan, zero infected. Um, and they even give you a time here if you want to look at that but if you don't want to show this portion because you know you wouldn't want to see all this crap if it's not infected it doesn't you know mean nothing to us uh, you can do that so if you go clam scan dash r and we just want to see the infected one so if you go dash i it'll only show the infected one if there is nothing that's infected then it's not going to show you that it's just going to show you a summary right which is what is done here uh, again, it's the same thing. Um, if you want to hear like an alert, you can actually do dash dash bell, which uh, will only give you a sound if you know you have an affected file, which I don't have, so it, it's not going to show you any sound or anything like that. Uh, so that's basically how you scan uh, a whole directory. Now, if you want to just scan like uh, a single file, it's basically clam scan. And then braid here. If I spell that right, yeah, the braid exe here. All right, this is just a single file. Um, and there you go. It says uh, I scanned it one file and zero infected. And, and that's pretty much uh, how you would do that. Now, if you want to get more help, you can always go, you know, clam scan dash h. And they give you way more options. Um, they do have like some other stuff like email filtering or something like that I saw earlier um, so up to you if you wanted to read up on that another thing is you know a virus scanner is not um, you know it's not useful if they don't have an updated definition so when you install it they actually give you the updated definition but like let's say a month later or two months later you know you need to scan your Windows viruses uh, you're still gonna have to update your, you know, your definition. So to do that, you can actually just go sudo, and we go fresh clam, All right? And now, um, you know, it updates it. It says up to date, up to date, and that's basically how you update your definition from the command line. Uh, so that's pretty much it. You know, I, I like I said, I don't like the GUI version, basically because it was kind of annoying. Every file I opened was kind of, it was trying to detect if it was a virus or not, which you probably can change or something like that. But I, I didn't like it. And plus, I'm not gonna scan, you know, my Windows viruses like on a daily basis. I'm gonna only do that like one or t or two times, uh, if I really need to. Okay. But that's how you use the command line version for Clam AV, and it's in your repositories. So go and get it if you want to use it.
either on your Windows partition or you know any of your Windows stuff. That's it for this one.